I'm Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 15, page 147 on optimization from Nelson Calculus and Vectors. The question is, a train leaves the station at 10 a.m. and travels due south at a speed of 60 km per hour. Another train has been heading due west at 45 km per hour and reaches the same station at 11 a.m. At what time were the two trains closest together. Uh, I think my students are having difficulty in actually making a diagram for this. So first step in any word problem is sketch a diagram to represent the situation, right? So that is the first step. So let us do that part first. So it says that a train leaves station at 10 a.m. and travels due south at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. So let us say this is the train which is traveling due south, right? So that is south. So by every hour, it is going to cover 60 kilometers. In general, this distance along south, you can say it is 60 T. So let me say that this distance is 60 T, right? So that is the distance where T is in hours. On the other hand, there is another train which is traveling west. And after an hour, that is 11 a.m. is after an hour, it reaches here. That means, what was the situation at 10 a.m.? Let us think about that. So, what was the situation at 10 a.m.? The other train must have been 45 kilometers away since its speed is 45 kilometers an hour, right? So, it was, let us say, somewhere here and then it's traveling from this side in towards west. So, the distance, I should say the initial distance of the second train is 45 kilometers. So I'm not writing kilometers, but I'm writing this distance is 45 from the railway station, right? At any time t, how much will this train travel? So at any time t, it would cover a distance with that speed. So that will be 45 t. So that is a distance covered at any time t. And for the other train, at any time t will be 60 t, right? So let us say that is the distance. So the distance between the two is this distance, right? So what we will do here is, I hope the diagram is clear, we'll write the distance between the trains as d, right? And how much is d? That is what we need to find. So d, the distance between the two trains, is square root of some of these two squares. Is that okay? So this side is 60t. So we say square root of 60t whole square plus how much is this side? So from here to here is how much? It is clearly the difference of 45 and 45t. So we could write this as 45 minus 45t whole square. So that is the other distance. Square root of that gives you the distance between two trains at any instance of time. I hope this point is clear. So that is the diagram and this is how you should be drawing it. Now it is relatively simpler. So we have to find the derivative of this d dash with respect to t. So square root means half of, so whenever there is square root to the power of minus half. So write down all this in the denominator which is 60t square, uh, I mean, plus 45 minus 45t whole square, right? You've done a lot of derivatives by now. And in the numerator, we get derivative of this particular function, right? I will also suggest you to kind of simplify this expression before getting here. So what you could do is, you could expand and simplify. So it may be a bit longer, but anyway, 60 square is 6 times 636, 3600. You need a calculator to do this. So 60 square is 3600. So we'll write 3600 and t square. So that is the first term plus 45 square. Let me take calculator. So we'll do square of 45. So 45 square is equals to 2025. So we have, we'll are expanding this term now. So 2025 minus 2ab. So 45 times 45 times 2. So we'll do 45 times 45 times 2 
equals to 4050, 4050t plus 45 square. So we have 45 square equals to, you know, 2025. So 2025t square. So that becomes the expression. Now, if you would have simplified, uh, uh, we would have got simpler terms. Okay, anyway, let's take derivative of this one now. But you could combine these two terms. We'll combine it later. Okay, so derivative of 3600t square will be 7200t. So let me write here 7200t. Derivative of this is constant, which is 0. Then we have t, so we have minus 4050. And then we have plus 2 times 2025, which is 4050t, right? So that is the derivative of inside function, which comes in the numerator, right? Now, we can simplify this and equate derivative of distance as 0 to find time when this is going to be minimum. So we'll write half of all this. Uh, which is 60, do not expand or work with denominator, right? That is kind of critical. You will save a lot of time in doing so, right? So that is a square root. Since it is 0, we need to equate numerator to 0. Perfect. So add 7200 with 4050, what do you get? So we have 7200 plus 4050, 11250. So we have 11250 t minus 4050. Now if that has to be 0, the numerator should be 0. That is to say that 11250t should be equals to 4050 or time t equals to 4050 divided by 11250, right? So that gives us a value which is 4050 divided by 11250 equals to 0.36. So 0 0.36. So basically that is the time after 10 hours. So after 0 0.36 hours, the trains will be closest, right? We'll also figure out why this is closest. But let's find what that time is. When we say 0 0.36, multiply by 60 to get minutes. So it is 21.6. So, so the time will be 10 21.6, let's say 10.22, right? So that will be the time when the two trains will be closest. Now we should actually prove, we could do boundary conditions, that t could be zero or maybe more than an hour, right? Uh, when when this could be minimum, right? So, so we could have boundary conditions. Here we have one boundary, we do not have the other boundary, or we could analyze the derivative at the given point, 0 0.36, and see how does it change. So what I'm trying to say is, let us analyze the derivative d dash, so the distance between the two. The critical point for us is 0 0.36. So that is the critical point, 0 0.36. So we'll take a test value on either side of this, right, and see how does the derivative change? Is it changing from negative to positive or positive to negative? That will ensure whether the distance is maximum or minimum at this critical point, right? So, so what you should do is, let's take a value which is 0 0.3 on this side and 0 0.4 on the other side, which is greater than, right? So what is d dash when I substitute 0 0.3 for time? If I write 0 0.3 here, for t in the numerator because all other things are positive. So 11, 250 times 0.3 minus 4050 equals to negative number, right? So what we get here is a negative number. So negative means, rate of change means it is slowing down. Is it okay? Now similarly, so we get negative here, right? So let us figure out what is the value when we substitute 0 0.4 here, right? So if you substitute 0 0.4, then you will get 11, 250 times 0 0.4 minus 4050 equals to plus 450. So you get a positive number and that is plus 450, so it is like increasing thereafter. 
So when the rate of change changes from decreasing to increasing, what do we have? We have minimum, right? So therefore, there is a minimum after 0.36 hours when the first train left. Do you see that? So that is kind of important to prove. So that shows that it's minimum. That is minimum. distance. So these steps are extremely important to show and to get the answer and therefore therefore our answer is it says at what time were the two trains closest? So the time was approximately 10.22 a.m. right? They were closest. That is minimum distance. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.